Oh, you ate that. There he is. Guy. There he is. Oh, yeah. Alright guys, we're back again. This is the knife fishing vlog part two and I'm doing it solo today because you know it's super late and I just decided why not go out tonight, you know, get the rest of this series, you know what I mean? Because you guys loved the last video, you know what I mean? And I wanna get some better clips and some better footage for y'all and see, you know what I'm saying, if we can get our hands on some bigger ones tonight. You know, it just rained earlier, so I'm hoping they're out and about, you know what I'm saying? Usually the frogs come out and stuff like that and they like to feed, you know? So I'm rocking the new and improved eight foot setup with the 5K Captain by Pissy Fun. So we're breaking that reel in, you know what I'm saying? As we currently speak, but uh, yeah. Let's get straight to it though. It should be fire session. All right, guys, I think I just spotted one. So I'm gonna cast. Oh, he missed, he missed, he missed. He missed. First cast of the night. He missed. Shine it again. I'm gonna shine again. Oh, he was right there. Okay. Yeah, he took off. I don't know if I can see that. That's dust kicking off. Yeah. Okay, that was one. Interesting. Sometimes there might be these like little culverts at night. In the daytime too, but yeah, it's also very nice out. There's like no wind. That'd be interesting. It's gotta gotta find some shallow areas in here. If we're not finding any shallow areas. We'll switch the we'll switch spots. Oh, had him right there. Drag was super loose. What the heck? That was one. Holy cow. All right. Yeah, he's gone. He wasn't that big, so I'm not really worried, but let's get it done. We're on a search for a giant. It's one of the brick. Breaking the video. Where are these going? Oh, there's, there's one right there. Right there. Peacock. 
sé cuál. I want to try over here first. Just try looking around over right here. It's a petticoat. Another peacock, man. There he is. There he is. There he is. First one of the night. Just like that. Goodness gracious. There he is. Nice little one to break in the night. I thought he was way bigger, but he he is pretty light, you know, so gonna get him unhooked here. But yeah, I spotted him in the grass, but the thing is though, he was backing up, so I had a little bit of time to react, but I still managed to get him in, get a close up of him soon. But yeah, guys, pretty interesting snake. Holy cow. Yeah, we just broke off right there. On the 30. Jeez Louise, sorry. All right, we tied. I don't know how that happened. Maybe I just tightened my drug too much because I realized I'm using 30 pounds, not 40 pound liters. No, he's not that big. He is not that big. Yeah. They have teeth, backwards facing teeth, guys. So you gotta be careful when handling them. They shake just like that. Now, I'm not saying, you know, you have to go all out and get grippers and stuff, but I'm just saying, if you're gonna, if you're gonna grip them in their lip, make sure your thumb's not, you know, your thumb's behind their teeth, you know what I mean? But yeah, this is a little guy. I'm gonna let him go. He's so ready to go. Oh, really? He's doing all that shaking, all that talking. All that talking, man. Yeah, man, wake up, man, wake up. Oh my god. Something just got destroyed out there. I don't know what.
There it is. Oh. Off, just like that. All right, we're at the second spot. Disengaging this frog. Pretty much warmed up at the last spot. Oh. Oh. This is gonna be whole move. Seems like you can't right walk the right side of this pond. So that's pretty interesting. Alright. Oh my. Oh my gosh. Oh. There's a little one right there. Little one right there. Got him. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh yeah, I seen him way out there. He just popped in. I don't know. Can we flip him? Trying to get him to stop shaking. Hold on, guys. That's a nice one right there. There you go. So you guys can see. Jeez Louise. Let's go. That is what we were looking for, guys. A close up of that. Yep. Ate perfectly in the corner, just like that. Couldn't ask for better, man. Let's get a little giant bullseye. I give him a good six. He's not breaking my PB, but he's a very solid one for the night. So, let me give him a good little revive because I had him out for a little minute. But yeah. Super tan. Super cool snake. Super cool fish. I had to flip it. I'll show y'all right now. But yeah, y'all can see that, right? I had to flip that fish so far up. <laughs> We got it done though on the eight foot heavy man. Solid combo, but yeah. There we go. Solid. Well guys, there you have it. That was part two of the night fishing vlog. Yeah, we didn't do that bad. You know, we caught quite a couple snakes, you know, we caught a pretty nice one as well. That six pounder, I'd say. And then we also caught another one, but I um, wasn't filming that one, so. But he was also a nice one as well. And yeah, we did pretty good, you know what I mean? Um, usually when it comes to fishing for snakes, when it's, when there's no wind, you know what I mean? And you come out like a little later, you know what I mean? Like in the AM, like 1 AM, 2 AM. That's when everything or like everything outside is really quiet, you know, so all the fish are really keyed in on like the tiniest like changes, you know what I'm saying? They'll notice it. So yeah, it was pretty fun fishing for them tonight. And hopefully, you know what I'm saying, we get some more videos on the way. Because a lot of places you don't get to do you don't get to fish for 
snakehead and peacock bass and then drive 20, 30 minutes and then be able to fish for snook and tarpon and eagle rays and like literally like it's crazy bro the fishery down here is amazing and i just love it man and i can't wait to show y'all just extremely crazy adventures you know, coming up but yeah stay tuned though